So I want you all to take a second to imagine being 17 years old and imagine living in poverty. Maybe you don't know where your next meal is going to come from, where you're going to sleep tonight. And then imagine finding out that you're also pregnant. Some of you might be thinking, this girl's life is over. Lisa Steven, our founder and executive director of Hope House of Colorado, thought something different. Lisa, who was a teen mom herself, started Hope House 15 years ago for teen moms just like Dana, Hannah, and Jackie. I was 15 and he was 16, and I met him at church. I was pregnant at the age of 14 and dropped out of school. I got pregnant my senior year, and my boyfriend was abusive. My dad is an alcoholic, and my mom lost custody of my four younger siblings. I take care of my kids and brothers and sisters. When we were 16, my husband and I moved into our own apartment. We were hungry a lot. Sometimes we wouldn't even eat anything. As soon as I told my mom, it was just sheer, utter disappointment and yelling and screaming. I had no dreams. No one ever asked Dana, Jackie, and Hannah, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like many of you, I started asking my kids this question when I drove them to school, and their answers changed as they grew big. At first it was, I want to be a race car driver. I want to be a professional ball player. I want to be a teacher or a dancer or a lawyer. But no one ever asks our girls that question. When we do ask that question, you know what they say? They say things like, I want my own place. They're living in a crowded apartment. They are couch surfing with their child from place to place, which is even worse. The sad truth is that our girls, they come to Hope House because they know they need that GED. And then all of a sudden, they start to envision a bigger future for themselves. What's next? So they come for that, and they start envisioning and seeing the other girls in the room around them. They're working on their college classes. They're getting placed in a career partner with us. Those girls start to envision something else. These girls started to envision something else. Hey, maybe I can be a paralegal. Hey, maybe I'd like to be a nurse. Maybe I'd like to go into teaching all of a sudden. How great is that that we're able to do that? But the sad truth is there's over 3,200 babies born to teen moms in the Denver metro area. And over half of those girls and all the teen moms across the country, only half of them are going to get their GED. The next sad truth is only 1% of all the teen moms in this country will go on to get their college degree. They've never been on a college campus. No one's ever talked to them about college. No one in their family has ever gone to college, right? And in the state of Colorado, you'd have to work 110 hours at minimum wage to be self-sufficient. That's impossible. They can't get out of poverty that way. So almost all of the girls at Hope House will tell you that getting pregnant changed or most of the time saved their life. They'll tell you that holding that newborn baby was the pivotal moment in making a decision to provide a better life for that little one than the one that they'd experienced themselves. So unfortunately, a lot of these girls, they have nowhere to go and no one to come alongside them to help them turn that mommy motivation into a reality. So that's where Hope House comes in. This year at Hope House, we will serve over 200 teen moms across the Denver metro area through our residential program, our GED program, our college and career program, and our wraparound supportive services like parenting and healthy relationship classes, our financial literacy workshops, and our early learning program for our little ones while our moms are in class or are studying. We tailor our programs to the mom. So you remember Dana from our video. When Dana came to Hope House, Dana wanted to get her GED. Dana was also raising two kids and then was inheriting four more kids that she was responsible for. So she quickly decided that she wanted to take our parenting classes as well. At Hope House, we measure self-sufficiency in six economic domains, 
and 10 personal domains on a continuum from crisis to vulnerable to stable to safe. We serve our girls until they're 25 years old, and then Hope House provides that safety net that a family often does if, say, a car breaks down or you're short on rent because you missed a few days of work when you were sick. So here's the cool thing about what's happening at Hope House. What we're doing is working. <laughs> you remember those staggering statistics that Lisa shared with you a few minutes ago? I have a few more for you. So at Hope House, 80% of our girls are earning their GED or their high school diploma. 17% of our girls are completing their college certification or degree compared to the just 1% nationally that Lisa shared with you. And then 90% of our residential graduates and 65% of our community graduates are self-sufficient within just five years of starting our programs. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> So all of that's awesome, but really at the end of the day at Hope House, one of the things that is the most important to us is for us to provide community for these girls, a place for them to belong, right? A place free of judgment, a place where they can be celebrated and encouraged, a place where they can experience God in their lives. So all of that, but then the crazy thing is that we're doing everything I just talked about in 2,200 square feet of rented space. We're on top of each other, <laughs> but not for a lot. Last year, we finished a $3.5 million capital campaign, and we broke ground on that building. It's gonna be 15,000 square feet. The building surrounds the two acres where our residential program is at. And we are so excited that we plan to be in there next spring, but we're not done yet. We wanna build another building that will be our early learning center and we'll be able to take care of our little ones and see that they're off to the right start while their moms are going on as well. We are so excited about that. Our vision that we are beginning to develop this year is to come alongside other groups that are passionate about teen moms and that would like to have a Hope House of their own as well. Because we think if we can provide the tools, the resources, and the relationships that teen moms need, that we can empower even more team moms across the country. But don't take my word for it. I want you to see this video. I always wanted to become a police officer. Today, I'm studying criminal justice at Front Range Community College. Today, I'm going to the Community College of Denver and working on my paralegal certification. Now, I am going to school to become a medical assistant. My biggest dream is to show Cora that she can do anything. I'm building a beautiful life for Sean and Faith and Jordan and Paul and Moses and Lydia too. I'm building a better future for me and my sons. Thank you. Thank you.